bomb. This foundation is bomb. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this week we are going to be trying out the new Maybelline foundation. I've been having the hardest time finding this foundation for some reason. I have no idea why, but I guess maybe it's just really popular and the stores are just selling out of it. Maybe a lot of stores don't carry it. I am not sure, but whatever the case is, it took me like five different stores. I went to five different stores to find this foundation. I found it at Ulta. I actually went to Ulta and got a couple things. I really actually only needed um, a sharpener and they just so happened to have a foundation. So I'm glad that I picked it up. Eventually I do want to do a full face of Maybelline. I heard that they launched new shades in their concealer, their age rewind concealer. So when I get that concealer, I'll do a full face of Maybelline, but I'm not going to do that today. This is just going to be the foundation video, but I did end up picking up, this is totally unrelated to foundation, but I did end up picking up two of those, uh, super stay matte ink. I did want to try these cause they look really, really pretty. I don't know. Um, I got the Jasmine Brown eye lure eyelashes. I know this is totally unrelated, but mini Ulta haul. And then I got this brush from Morphe. I always buy new foundation brushes. Whenever my foundation brushes are dirty, I just buy new ones. That's bad, but I am a collector of foundation brushes. It's like a buffing brush. And I like that it's kind of flat at the top. I actually got the brush that Jackie Ina uses all the time um, by NYX and it's this one, the multitasking brush. But as you can see, it's not really flat at the top. Like she uses it and it looks flat. It looks more like this but it's it's not quite there yet. I think I have to like really get used to using her and buffing her into my skin to get that flat shape. While I love Ulta, I didn't wanna get this foundation from Ulta because I've heard bad things about their return policy um, and that you can actually return anything and they will put it back on the shelf after it's been used. That is kind of true because this foundation has been used However, it isn't a pump, so I'm not necessarily like freaking out about it. Like a concealer or something that uses a wand that you put back into the product, I would be really cautious about that because if somebody's already used it and it's unsanitary, that's disgusting. So yeah, this is the Maybelline Superstay. I believe this runs for $10. Considered a drugstore inexpensive foundation. Obviously Maybelline is a drugstore brand, but I trust Maybelline just because their foundations tend to be very nice. Uh, the Fit Me Foundation is possibly one of my favorite foundations of all time um, as far as like drugstore and inexpensive foundations go just because it's a really good quality. The matches are pretty good, the shade matches. I do find that the foundation like typically has a good shade range. So, we gonna try this out. In the Fit Me Foundation, I am Classic Tan. Um, I'm in between Classic Tan and Toffee Caramel. It depends on the time of year. So this is Toffee Caramel. Um, this is uh, 330 Toffee Caramel. I also picked up 334 um, Warm Sun because they didn't have Classic Tan. I've heard that it is full coverage, so we're gonna be testing for that today. Um, it is a 24 hour foundation. I'm not gonna wear this for 24 hours. However, it is 12 o'clock now and I will be going somewhere tonight. So um, I'll probably end up taking off this foundation around 10. I'm gonna do my normal primer, which is just my Unicorn Essence by Farsali. But for the sake of this video, I'm not going to use any smoothing primers, any mattifying primers, um, anything that's going to elongate or change the texture or the finish of the foundation. Normally I would do a, a smoothing primer of some sort, um, but I am just going to moisturize my skin. I'm gonna do my hydrating primer by Collab. I do wanna test for oiliness, but like I said, in the wintertime, my skin is more dry. So I'm gonna use, I'm glad this comes with a pump because the Fit Me foundation does not. And I do not like when foundations don't come with a pump. I just really feel like this has been used. I probably should have gotten another one because this has definitely been opened already. Like whoever tried to put this back and pretend like it's brand new, they um, they lied. Like you can see the top has been used before. So I'm gonna pump this out on the back of my hand and I'm gonna do one pump for now. Okay, so I'm gonna dab it. Mm. So this foundation is very matte. I can already tell this is a very matte foundation. Like it's blending into my skin like whoa did you just see that it just i mean you can tell that it's on my face but it just disappeared 
I kind of want to try this with a beauty blender. Applies very nicely. It's almost got like a powdery finish, which is different from the Fit Me. The Fit Me is a bit more watery in its consistency. Like I like how it's going on. Wow, that looks really good. Wow. The color isn't my favorite. I feel like the undertone is a bit pink. It does look really good as applied. Just wish it was a little more golden. I wonder how warm sun looks. Let's try it. Yeah, you can tell this one's brand new because look at the top is not used. It's about to be used today. Oh, actually, it's just looking a little bit more warm. Oh yeah, that's much better. Oh, oh, I prefer warm sun. It's not that it's darker or anything. It's just more warm warm sun is more warm sun i don't know i'm between i know i'm between these two so so far i am very much so liking this foundation i feel like it's really buffing into the skin nicely it appears to be very full coverage i have applied a little bit more than a pump but it's layerable yeah i mean i would definitely say that this is a good everyday wear full coverage kind of foundation because it's not to me some foundations are really hard to wear on their own like for like an everyday like going to work going to school kind of look you know some foundations they be like coming through you know what i'm saying coming through a little bit too much to a point where like now you got to put on a whole like full face with some lashes and some eyeliner and all of that because you got on a cake face you know what i'm saying um, but this foundation is like going on like really smooth. It's not giving me cake face. You know, I feel like I could wear this with just brows and mascara. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer and the rest of my face. And I'm gonna come back and I'll show you guys the Superstay lipsticks too, um, just because. So I will be back. I tried a couple different things um, that are new. Um, other than the foundation, of course, I just put on these lashes and I'm freaking in love with them. They remind me a lot of the 615s or is it the 614 or is it 625? I think it's the 614s by Salon Perfect, but the Jasmine Brown by Ilure or Jasmine, Jasmine. Jasmine. This is bomb. I love these lashes um, and they are my favorite style of lashes. I love spiky lashes that like flare out in the center and not in the outer corner. But yeah, anyway, besides point, I did my brows. I tried a new brow pencil, not drugstore, but this one is by Hour, this is, this is the gel. The Hourglass Brow Gels um, and Brow Pencil. Um, this is the box that it came in, but um, they are the Arch Brow. I love the arch brow, it's so good. Um, if you like higher end brow pencils, this one is one to try. This is the Hourglass Arch Brow. The gel is interesting because of the wand. Um, it's like a, it has like a brush on one side and then it's like the little swooly on the other. I've been using that for a couple days and I've really grown to love it. Uh, I should do a favorites video. I haven't done a favorites video in a while. I think I might do a January favorites. Um, my highlight is Fenty Ginger Binge Moscow Mule. I also have Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule on my eyes as well. Um, and then this highlight and my brow bone is Rum from um, Fenty. And then on top of that, I put the Master Chrome by Maybelline. Um, and it's a really pretty like gold highlighter. I kind of like picked out a chunk of it. Oops. This brush, I will say, I do like this brush. Um, do I prefer the foundation with a brush or a beauty blender? I want to say I like the brush a little bit better than a beauty blender. I like a full coverage look and to me brushes give a better full coverage look. Beauty blenders are good for blending cream products, so concealers um, and things of that nature. For a liquid foundation, I actually prefer a brush because it doesn't soak up the product. Beauty blenders have a tendency to soak up a little more product than I like. Okay, lip color. So this is my natural lip color. I like to think that I have really nice lips. That My lips are like one of my favorite features because they just be popping. I'm gonna use the Strip Down Lip Pencil by MAC just to line. Is literally my lip color. Um, I just use it to help with feathering and also to give a smoother application. Like colors like this, I have to use 
a lip liner like this that's kind of more neutral and not really any color at all because it kind of helps to blend it into my skin tone so this one is driver Ooh, i like this wand it's one of those teardrop doe foots which i really like <gasps> oh yes oh. we have a new fave <laughs> now y'all know the hard candy lipstick in the color daffodil has been my nude go-to right it's been my go-to nude lip color but this one though whoa it reminds me a lot of that actually they're like identical they toy and sisters i should exfoliate it who sis got a little crusty crust going on um um this lip color is amazing it's perfect it's my perfect nude i i, I gotta put more on this is my perfect nude you guys you guys oh my goodness quite thoroughly enjoying this i'm actually about to wipe this off because um my lips are crusting can y'all see that can't be out here with crusty lips okay now we're gonna put this there we go much more smooth and it's soft i couldn't tell how soft it was because my crusty lips was blocking the softness mm, mm, mm pillowy i love this lip color i'm actually gonna go buy the other colors now why y'all didn't tell me <gasps> oh no i got lipstick on my new lip my new my new sweatpants oh my god oh my god i got it on my new sweatpants oh my gosh oh no i knew this was gonna happen this is why you don't wear your favorite things when you're making yourself up guys um i'm in love with this lipstick i'm in love with the foundation i'm in love with these lashes i'm in love with everything this whole look is my life i like this look it is perfect. It is everything to me. Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> oh my God. I am just so in love with everything that I put on my freaking face right now. Like I'm just feeling it. Let me spray. I just want to make sure that I get the full effect. This is the uh, Morphe Prep and Set, by the way. I need to buy another one of those because I'm running out. I'm just really feeling this look. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but this foundation is flawless. I will definitely say that it is a 10 out of 10. I mean, I honestly, for a drugstore foundation, okay, take the drugstore out of it. Compared to a lot of high-end foundations, this foundation's bomb. It is very matte. I will say it's very matte. Um, I actually think I like this one better than the Fit Me just because of the thickness of it. You don't need a lot of it to get that full coverage look. Um, and Fit Me, it does need to be layered a little bit more. I tend to, I used to mix the Fit Me foundation with the L'Oreal True Match, uh, L'Oreal Infallible, um, because I felt like it wasn't full coverage enough. Um, this one is Fit Me's better sister. Well, not better. This one is a little bit more extra. You know, it gives a little bit more just, uh, you know, like, uh. Fit Me Foundation is Solange, Superstay is Beyonce. Like, we don't compare them. We don't say one is better than the other because they're sisters and they're both beautiful people. But, you know, just one has a different appeal than the other does. You know, one's a little more earthy, a little more into the natural, don't touch my hair. This one, the super stay, is a bit more upgrade you, glitz and glam, don't touch me, I'm worth a billion dollars. I, I definitely think that this is gonna become easily one of my new faves. And I don't say that about a lot of foundations, I really don't. I think the last time I was excited about a foundation like this was Fenty. And to be honest with y'all, I like the Fenty foundation, but because I've had such a hard time finding my shade um, and I have to mix two shades, I've bought like six different colors and tried all of them. And none of them really give me the look that I want. But the fact that I could actually find my shade in this foundation. Now the problem is I know there that the shade range is not as big. I know that not everyone will be able to find their shade in this foundation. Uh, I just I was able to find mine and I like that there were two that were very very similar and close enough to each other That I had to pick between because usually with found drugstore foundations it's one and done honey You get one foundation and if it don't match you just find something else But Maybelline I appreciate that they have enough shades for me to actually have to like do a comparison and buy both Which I usually don't have to do with drugstore foundations. I would also like to note that honorable mention this lipstick is bomb 
Um, so if you did want to try the Superstay matte inks, they are amazing. I need to go get more of them. I definitely want to try this one and the other purples that I saw were really, really pretty as well. So these lashes are everything. I mean, I just... I'm done today. I don't need to do anything else. That is all. I don't have anything else to say about the foundation. It's great. Go get it. Go try it. It's not a huge risk because it's not $40. It's only like 10. So, I mean, you get your money's worth. You can find it anywhere. I just honestly think that this is worth trying. But obviously everybody loves it just as much as I did because it was not available like anywhere. Yeah, that's it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. So let me know what foundations you guys want me to try and I'll definitely try them for you. Um, other than that, that's all. I'll talk to you guys in my next video, okay? Bye.